This is Nick and Sabrina. You know, I've known you, Nick, forever, haven't I? Yeah. I've known you for a long, long time since we've been here. And now they've brought their brand new baby forward to be baptized. And we use the same baptismal vows that John Wesley wrote over 200 years ago. Jesus, and we'll read this text later on, when he ascended into heaven, he said to his disciples and to all of his believers, go ye therefore into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that's a direct quote from our Lord. And that's what we're a part of this very day. We're going to baptize this little child, this new little baby in the day family. These are the vows that John Wesley asked that we ask. And the first one is tough. It always is. Do you believe that there is evil in this world and that that evil will try to work against us? But do you also believe that God's love is the most powerful force in the universe and that God's love will outfight evil every time in the long run? Do you believe that? Do you believe in the Holy Scriptures, the Old Testament as well as the New Testament, that these are not just good history lessons, though they're that, but these are actual events that happened and that God has recorded them through the writings of men and that we are meant to trust those Scriptures and to adjust our lives around what the Holy Scriptures say. And by the time we get into the New Testament, the story of Jesus Christ, do you believe that he truly is your savior and that your brand new baby and your son Link, as we have already done, are part of his salvation? Do you believe that the Old and New Testaments contain the actual word of God that God wants us to put in practice in our lives? And will you continue to make your home a home of Christ's love where he has spoken about, where he has shared. If Christ's love is shared, your house will be full of forgiveness. It just works that way. Will your home be that kind of haven for Christ's love and his forgiveness for you, and especially for you, Link, right? There we go. Will you make your home that kind of home? And do you believe in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? It's called the Trinity. It's not three different gods that we worship. It is one God that we have come to know in three persons. It would be like, Nick, you wearing three hats. You work, you are married, you have a child. All three of those are part of you. That's who you are. But you're not three persons. You're the same person, you just wear three hats. That the Father who created this universe, that the Son who offers his salvation for those of us who affirm him and believe in him, and the Holy Spirit who inspires us, who brings us together as man and woman, and who helps us bring children into this world that we can love, the triune God, do you believe in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Your response will be, in Christ's love, we will. You have a responsibility as the family of God, as the fellowship of true believers, as a community of faith. Will you help Sabrina and Nick raise both of these children? Will you be for them? Will you help teach their children? Will you at times forgive them? And I promise you, that's coming up. Will you forgive them? Will you embody the whole person of Jesus Christ before them? Will you be the fellowship of true believers as Nick and Sabrina raise these children? And on this day, Nicole, Will you do that as a fellowship of true believers? 
and they will, Sabrina and Nick. Link, if you'll hold this for me, we're going to baptize your sister. It's okay. It's going to work. That's water. Okay. Oh, yes. I know. I know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's a natural fit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Set the table for one more for lunch, hon. When your baby came into this world, you named her. And that is the name that we want to baptize her with today. What is that name? Nicole Danielle Day. Nicole Daniel Day. We baptize you now in the name of God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>